Welcome to another week in review. Very fun going to I am Andy, this is the worst human being on the planet, uh, and this is the end of, and, uh... <laughs> I, just, I just thought we said I was going to do the... <laughs> Welcome back to another week in review, we've got some prizes to give away. Um, what are the prizes? Yeah, we got prizes, you wouldn't even know, Josh. No, no participation in this now. Uh, we got the 10 inch gizmo pop, we're going to give that away today. We also have the, uh, the Christmas gizmo um, backpack and the Christmas gizmo uh, wallet from Loungefly. Uh, if you want to go, in, go into the running to win either of these three prizes, all you need to do is leave a message, a comment on the feed you're watching, on this live stream. Uh, at the end of the episode, Luke is going to spin the prize wheel, which is going to be full of names of people who have commented, so be sure to leave a comment on this feed to go in the running. Uh, and three lucky people are going to win some prizes. Specifically the ones that have asked questions will be more <laughs> likely to win the prizes. Say it every week, but ask a question. When Luke spins the wheel, He's probably going to more, notice name it's more likely to well, stop on you if you've asked a question. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure about that. Yeah. No, no, what I'm saying is when, they, when you ask a question in the comments, yep. and the wheel spins, yep. and if your name's on it, yes. When you spin it, it's yeah. more likely to stop on your name yeah. if you've asked The universe will work in your favour. Josh is very superstitious. He is. My goodness, he is. No, I just mean probability-wise. <laughs> it's, it's just hard. I, I think what you're describing is a probability. Um, but anyway, we've got heaps to show you today, guys. Again, some awesome prizes to give away. Just leave a comment on the feed to, to go in the running to win those. Uh, got some awesome new releases from Funko, from Loungefly, from PCS, from the Pokemon Company, uh, from Mad Men, from Hasbro. Uh, and so much more. So let's get stuck into it. We may as well kick it off with some live flight this week, Bianca. Yeah, uh, considering you are ready to talk about it. Right, yeah, right I figured front. I may as well just stand here conveniently since <laughs> I can reach over everything today. It's very exciting. So why don't we start off with um, the prizes today. Um, so this is the Holiday Gizmo Backpack and what's fun about this is that it's, it's super soft and lovely to touch. Um, so it feels just like Gizmo. And what you can also do as well, if you're not into just having a Christmas gizmo, he has a removable pack. So, you can just use him all year round. What? But, keeping in mind, um, the matching wallet, the hat is not removable, so he's going to be purchasing all the time. So just keep that in mind when um, you're purchasing the wallet there. Now, that so, one's seasonal only, that one. <laughs> all year round. It's a, it's a party backpack. I've never seen it. Are they going to do the rest of the Ewoks? Oh, oh Josh, you were you were not I mean, get no, get on my face. I mean, fingers crossed. Um. So as you can see, we've got a bit of a Christmas theme going on. We've got about half of a new catalogue that's just landed. So if you want to get something uh, to accessorise with for Christmas, get in now because of the delays with the mail are uh, just go. Um, so what we've also got is um, another reimagining of Mickey and Minnie Mouse. So these are stylized, kind of like a snow globe, and there's actually like little puffballs of snow that can move around in there. Which I imagine they'll move around a little bit more when there's no stuff inside the bag. Um, but there's also a matching wallet, which is super cute, and a backpack as well. And the front pocket works the same way as the crossbody does. It has fallen snow when there's no stuff inside, so it actually has a chance to move around. Um, more Christmas stuff, so we have the Elf Buddy series, so um, this is basically Buddy and his buddies, just celebrating all the friendships he made throughout the film. Um, and same thing again, Loungefly have really gone all out with this little snowy quality there, <laughs> so once the stuff inside out of that, you'll be able to appreciate that a little bit more. Oh, you'd have to be a cotton-headed ninny-muggins to not grab that one with your collection, I, I tell you. Yeah, yeah, look, boy. Look oh, boy. I have to agree. <laughs> okay, um, what we've also got that's not Christmassy is the Tiana um, Castle series. So this basically depicts um, her restaurant when it's all opened up at the end of the film. And then um, it just shows her on the inside just having a great time in there. Um, so all the accessories are the same. So it just has either side, and same with the backpack as well, and there's some neat applique going on there just to really make it jump out from the actual backpack. Um, and now what we've also got is um, some Pokemon stuff. So if you're a fan of the 
what generation of Pokemon? Four, fifth, sixth, I can't quite remember. Anyway, uh, Piplop uh, is from one of those generations. <laughs> um, so this is stylized to look obviously like Piplop, and then we've got a matching all over print wallet as well, which is pretty adorable. And lastly, we have an anniversary collection for Dumbo. I believe it's the 50th anniversary of Dumbo. Um, so this is just in celebration of the film. Um, so as you can see, we've got the service train going across the um, rails there and Dumbo just on the top. Um, now it's in celebration of um, the quote, don't just fly, soar, which is a big thing in the um, Disney community. Um, and we've got a matching wallet as well. And my favorite is actually the crossbody. It's really cool because it is stylized like a circus pattern on the train, which is really, really cool. And that's all we've got from Lounge Flight at the moment, but... Not all we've got, because that is, 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 is quite a lot, and um, we've got some more coming in, hopefully soon, to talk yeah, about. So. That's right. Thank you, Bianca. That's, uh, that's the police from Lounge Flight, right? Um, while we're on this side of the table, we may as well touch on the awesome new Leonardo one quarter mm. scale statue from PCS. You might have known them as Pop Culture Shock uh, Collectibles. You may have then known them as PCS Collectibles. Well, now they're a premium collectible studio, just PCS. Premium collectible studio, Thanks. collectibles. Yeah, they got they got a whole new name and a whole new whole new attitude, and that attitude is Carol oh, Duncan, dude. Yeah, it's oh. of the late 1980s. <laughs> Um, but hey, Leonardo, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, based on 1987 uh, cartoon, blue bandana, and he's a turtle. He looks serious. Yep, he's he's. he's ready to go. I, I like this a lot, and I know that Luke would like this as well. I I, I appreciate it. However, Leonardo is not my favourite turtle. If there was a he is Andy's favourite turtle, though. Is that is that correct? <laughs> I like Donnie Taylor. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Really? Is no one picks Donnie. Hey! Does Donnie Taylor have glasses? He's got a stick. <laughs> he invents stuff. Are, um, they, are they gonna do? Do you know if they're gonna do the rest of the line? Yeah, yeah. they are. They're doing the, they're doing all four all four Ninja Turtles. Man, these would make some great companion pieces. Go on with one another. One another. Yeah, they would. Um, Stick that don't above we have your fireplace. On the website? Uh, yeah, I think we've got a few, and there's there's one that's based on the Last Ronin comic book series as well that's coming out, which looks uh, which looks really good. How much and, is it? Um, I don't know. I didn't do prices. This you week, didn't do though. prices this week. What were you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Let me tell you. We're gonna wait. Hey, tonight is uh, the release of twenty twenty one. That's the year, right? Yeah, yeah twenty twenty one. Four, 20, 24, all, all convention exclusive items. I'll be up until early hours of the morning. <laughs> I'll be up to the early hours in the morning. <laughs> making, making sure that... We'll uh, both be up till the early hours. <laughs> uh, midnight tonight. That drops. So, uh... That's like 12... 12.01. Yep. Saturday. Because once midnight comes, it's a new day. Uh, we, we drop an incredible item for Funko 2021 yep. exclusive. We're excited. There's some good stuff. There's some really good stuff in there. Uh, each order does come with a uh, free... Uh, enamel pin. Um, so get excited for that. Uh, designed, that'll be coming your way. Designed in house. It didn't take me that long. To... <laughs> <laughs> no, they were designed by Andy. So that's that's exciting. Um, but this one, this is my favourite of all the pins that we've done so far. A little bit of a shameless plug, but it's good. It's good, and if you want one, all you need to do is pick up a uh, convention exclusive at the drop tonight, um, or potentially over the weekend, if stock uh, lasts. Um, plenty, of, plenty to look at there. So, Josh, that's what I've been prepping for that all day, so that, that's why there's no prices on the table. Uh, so you'll, you'll excuse me, I apologise. Well, I won't, but... <laughs> anyway, uh, for PCS, there's a statue, prices online, the product's online. When you're on the line checking out the product, why don't you buy it? Uh, and then, if you like it enough to look up the price, you like it enough to take it home. So, uh, definitely get on that. Uh, but this is an incredible line from PCS. Uh, the details are really great. Really well um, painted, really well sculpted. And it is heavy AF, man. This thing um, is, yeah, that's, that's a sturdy collectible right that's there. That's a sturdy collectible? Yep. Um, I really want to talk about some Funko. Because it's one that's really standing out to me. 
There's one that's really. I don't know where this is going. I know that. I know that we we. This is a little bit of a shambles. We're jumping all over the place. I've got no prices. We're sorry. Um, but we got some new Harry Potter pops have come in, and this top one here is Harry Potter, and I'm pretty sure it's Harry Potter after he's. It looks pretty bloody. It's, it's, it's the uh, anniversary one from the first film. But he's holding he's, the Philosopher's Stone. He's wearing a knit, knit sweater. <laughs> he's got some, um, some khaki pants on. He's got some leather boots on. He's got some glasses. It looks exactly like Andy Walker after trekking out into the warehouse. <laughs> It does. After after he's been into the warehouse, this is what he comes back looking like. I can't look back at like an eleven year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've got a new line of Harry Potter box. Um, we've got they're kind of scattered across the table. We've got my this is yeah, it's part of the anniversary of the Sorcerer's Sla slash Philosopher's Stone um, film. Uh, it's been twenty years now. Wait wait wait. Is it Sorcerer's Stone? So, alright, in different it's regions it's different names. Is it? Yeah. Philosopher's oh, Stone, yeah. So, the book's Philosopher's Stone. Yeah. And outside of the US, I think the film franchise was called The Philosopher's Stone, but in, in, the, US. in the US it's called Sorcerer's Stone. Even though they're two very it's different occupations. Um, yeah. Confusing. <laughs> yeah. Same film. Yeah. Right. Did you watch the know. film twice? Thinking it was different movies? No, I, I watched the film once. And, yeah. Um, a <laughs> lot going on, a lot of science. Anyway, new Harry Potter box. Uh, we also have from, uh, you know, we've got more Harry Potter stuff, we're gonna, we're gonna work around, because that's, that's the most logical way to do this. Uh, Christmas is coming up, and with that comes, um, good, uh, Good gingerbread. Desserts. Nice. Is nice. gingerbread a Christmas dessert? It is. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, gingerbread houses and stuff. <laughs> but yeah. Like, do you like gingerbread, John? No. No, I don't know why when they invented it they didn't just go with cinnamon. Because that's the <laughs> cinnamon bread. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. Like, why didn't they just go with cinnamon at the start? Uh, Look, I think that's fair. I'm not yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, getting into it. That's wow. also the same. You're, you're, you're all Johnny's Ginger Bread's great. Yeah, oh, the amazing. amazing. Andy's favorite Christmas movie is Charlie Brown's Christmas though. So of course he likes gingerbread and warm milk. <laughs> what does it tell him? Warm cashew milk. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's the Avengers and gingerbread people. Um, or, yeah, uh, we've got uh, Iron Man, uh, and he's got frosting coming out of him. Boy, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, we've got Captain America, we have Captain Marvel, we have Scarlet Witch, we have Spinman. Uh, he's got some nice frosting there as well. Uh, we've got Black Panther, uh, we've got Thor, uh, and we've got Hulk. I am unsure about the situation of the gun drop, gun drop buttons, uh, but regardless, these are really good uh, pops. They don't look like pops, they look like gingerbread, cookies, or biscuits, or breaded goods. What do you call it? What do you think the tastiest Trains one would be? Of these? Yeah, real classic. No, 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 what do you think, like, if they were real gingerbread, what do you think the tastiest one would be? Because I'm, I'm looking at that Thor, and it's making me hungry, because he would have, like... I think like, the hammer looks like... Yeah, um, like that like, like meat stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I uh, that would, that'd be too hard on the teeth, I think. I don't know. No, no, it'd be soft, it would just look hard. <laughs> no, I, I think the Iron Man would be able to break oh. off the little frosting. Yeah, yeah the frosting bits have got... Yeah. Yeah. Cap is also looking because that's heavy frosting work on that. That's there all is. Yeah. There that, is. That looks good. Hulk, Hulk and Spider Man look pretty underwhelming. You'd be like, this is a low level of frosting. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> that's the lot. That's the leftover cookie. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the leftover cookie. Anyway, uh, this is a great range. Um, there was some Mickey Mouse ones that were released last year in the same style, um, but uh, it's really good. Frosting's really on the front. From the back, they just got like gingerbread detailing. So. You know, looks looks exactly like it would come straight out of the oven. Um, more from Marvel, we have some new um, uh, exclusive releases. Uh, so these are all special edition pops, which we unfortunately can't ship to the United States or Canada at this time. Um, but we've got some new X-Men releases. We have Bishop and we have Magic. Um, as part of the Year of the Shield um, celebration, we have Taskmaster. And we've got a new Venomized Doctor Doom, which does have the, um, a, a chase piece variant, which does glow. So, how chase pieces work for pop culture, you order the single item, 
um, of Venomized Doctor Doom, you might receive either the standard Venomized Doctor Doom, or you might receive the Chase Glow Doctor Doom. Um, and you don't know which one you're going to get. And we don't know which one you're going to get uh, once the paperwork goes out to a warehouse. Yep. Whoever's picking that order at random <clears throat> will grab it out of the box. They might pick up the Chase piece, they might pick up the regular one. No way to request it. Uh, but uh, it is a lucky dip, and it is really the how the chase program is meant to be. Yep. You've got to chase it. You've got to chase it. Got to chase it. So that's cool. New, new Marvel pops. Uh, we've got a Spider Man. Hey. Spider Man from the Japanese TV series Spider Man. I didn't know there was one, but clearly the best Spider Man there is. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> Not Peter Parker. It's an entirely different storyline. I think it comes out of space. I don't know. That sounds much better. <laughs> anyway, so there's a chase option here as well. Again, another glow chase. So basically what you're saying is it's an alien. I don't know, I haven't watched it. Yeah, yeah. You, sound, you sound like you know a bit about it. You know? yeah. To be honest, I haven't actually seen it, but anything Japanese is the best thing ever, so... I, I just the best fine man ever then. <laughs> so basically, the, the writers had the option that was kid that's in high school doing science and maths. No, you know what I think it is? <laughs> you know what I think? You know how Power Rangers was just... A different show in Japan and was pieced together with new characters and stuff. Yeah, I, I feel like they've just taken a Western character and made a show using that suit and whatever comes out of it what, is what came out of it. I don't know. I so, don't know. I've is seen it, it. Is it sort of like X Files? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why would you say that? Because Andy said it was like the alien. Spider-Man, and he's the lighting. I love that one. We have Ned and we have MJ. So I think the first time we're actually seeing some of Spidey's friends get um, some Funko uh, treatment, which is really cool because normally it's just Spider-Man and then Spider-Man again, and then that bad guy, and then another bad guy, but then there's another Spider-Man, and then maybe one more Spider-Man, but then that is it because there's no friends. But this time here you get friends for the movies in now. So look at that. Look at that. That's pretty good. We're gonna take a break from Pops for one sec. I'm gonna take a look over here, over here at Luke Anton Milk. Anton Milk. <laughs> and some Anton Milk. He's come on in and he's gonna tell tell us about some some, some vinyl. G'day guys, just as ever, I'm here with another handful of records from my favorite picks of what's come up from the last week or so. Um, I've got some awesome albums here with me today, and I'm really excited to share them with you. So let's get into it. Um, first off. How to Finger's Honesty number five, one of my favourite albums, especially from How to Finger of like the the alternative early rock in Australia. Um, it's got some really awesome tracks such as Waiting for the Sun, My Happiness, uh, My Kind of Scene These Days, some really iconic songs. It's pressed on one blue disc and one white or queer disc. I can't remember which one of the two, but um, it's a really awesome album and I do own this one myself. I love it, I play it all the time. But um, yeah, moving on. Thank you, Andy. Another Australian classic. In Excess's The Swing. Um, this is a really cool album as well. It features some really great songs such as like Original Sin and um, I think it's got, yeah, it's got um, The Swing on it and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it! <laughs> all the voices and I can't remember the rest of the album super well, but one of their classic albums, I think it was the fourth one they came out with. But um, yeah, some great music on there for sure. Hey, uh, Will, just a quick question, mate. Um, someone's asked in the in the feed there that uh, do you do you have a favourite band? Favourite band? Oh. Maybe that can extend that's to artists as well. That's a tricky one. All right, all right. Um, take one out of like your top ten. Yeah, because that's that's gonna take a while. I reckon um, in terms of band, Van Soho, I reckon they're my favourite. Yeah, um, okay. I've oh, listened cool. to them for almost ever now, but um. Yeah, naming one is pretty difficult. What about everyone else? Favorites? Anyone do I, you shoot off? I like I, I like Sprite Eyes. I do listen to Sprite Eyes, but I like Yellow Tango. Probably take Oh wow! Yeah. Did not expect that to be oh. honest. <laughs> Rob Zombie's a favorite of mine. Ooh. Uh, don't 
I like a tray. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, next up, you know my 2008 album, Dilettantes. Um, I'm not sure if that's Tays or Tez, but yeah, a really great album from you and my. They've produced some of the best Australian alt rock over the years. One of my favourite groups, Tim Rogers, is an awesome songwriter, and this is no exception to that great songwriter. Moving on, Public Enemy. This is their sophomore record. It takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Um, it's got songs like, uh, oh, what's it got on it? Um, hmm. Don't Believe the Hype, Bring the Noise, Mind Terrorist, Louder Than a Bomb. Yeah, it's got some awesome tracks. A really big album for hip hop that progressed the sound a fair bit. Um, it had some really political themes on it, and it was just, yeah, like Chuck D going ham on songwriting. Next up. Um, Honky Chateau by Alton John, one of his bigger albums. It's got Rocket Man on it. It's um, some really great songwriting and piano playing from Alton John. As always, it's yeah, just a really solid all round rock classic album. Next up, Billy Idol's latest release. Um, it was released just this year. It's only an EP, but it's on Awesome Blue Vinyl. Um, it's yeah, the Road Tide EP, more Billy Idol classic songwriting, pretty good. Well, can you can you can you tell us uh, how the difference between a single and an EP and, a, and an LP? Yeah, so um, I feel like this was asked a while back, but um, for those of you who don't know, LP is a long playing record, it's full album, usually anywhere from God eight or more songs. Um, anything up to eight is generally within like four to eight an EP, which is an extended play, more than a single, but not enough to make up an album. And a single is one to three songs generally. So yeah. Those are the, um, the record formats. That's what EP means. EP? Yeah. It's been to play. I just learned something. Next up, awesome new soundtrack here. Um, I might get you to hold these for a second. Uh -oh. I'll take this one out. We have opened this one up, so we've got Clinton Tarantino's... <laughs> we've got Tarantino's Death Proof um, soundtrack to the film that came out in 2007 as one part of the Grindhouse release. The other part was Planet Terror. But we have here an awesome soundtrack featuring 70s, 80s, and 60s music. Um, it's got a really nice lyric sheet with a gloss finish there. And then you've got a really cool inner with a shot from the movie. And on the other side, you get to see the man himself, Quentin Tarantino, pouring up a drink. Now this one is pressed on a limited edition tricolor vinyl. So three different colors there. Clear, red, and black. Awesome disc. I better look better on your turntable though. So um, check this one out at popculture.com. I'm going to struggle to get this back in. That's all right, because uh, cause, uh, Josh is going to, to handle that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you want to? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want first? Um, sure. So many to pick from. Well, yeah, we've got uh, four different versions of this album. I'll take the shoe off. Oh, um, yeah, four different versions of this album because we are distributing this one. It's Grindhouse's latest release, Sex Pump Power. We've just made it in stock in the last week and it is hard, it's fast, it's electric, it's rock and roll and it's uh, pretty explicit. So if you're not into cursing and... Uh, Too more, much cussing for my <laughs> <laughs> More intense rock themes, then this might not be for you, but if you like Sex Pump and Power, it probably is for you. Um, this one is... Like, like, one of those things. <laughs> Power. You're probably like a third the <laughs> other, I'd say. I'm not gonna say which. <laughs> <laughs> this Pop Culture exclusive comes in a gatefold jacket, which is pretty rad, featuring all the members of the band there. And then the discs themselves, we have <coughs> just here, sorry Andy, it's gonna be difficult. Uh, the lyric sheets as well. So a nice thick lyric sheet. There's some thick lyrics on there as well. Yeah, <laughs> heavy. Uh, Inner Sleeves, signed by Stephen McDonald, the producer of the album. Each one's personalised, so you might get something random in every different one. That's cool. And then this one here is the clear vinyl. So pop culture exclusive, you'll only get this one through us. Really nice crystal clear pressing there. And the other pop culture exclusive. <laughs> 
obviously juggling so much stuff. The other pop culture exclusive here is pressed on queer with white splatter, as you can see. Another Stephen McDonald right up there, and there's the vinyl itself. <coughs> it's messy. What, what kind of design is that, Will? Oh, uh, I think the um the idea behind it was that I think someone spilt some yogurt on the, the stairs. Did they just get a bit overly excited? Yeah. It must yeah, have dropped just from a, a real high. Yeah, it was a it's a really good album, so you know. It's just more yeah, of more frosting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, a couple of other then, versions of that as well. Yeah, we've got the indie retail versions. So these ones will be found at indie record stores across the country. We've got two different variants. Got the blue one there. These are both opaque pressings. And they come with lyric inner sleeves as uh, lyric inner sheets as well. So I'll just show you those ones. There's the blue one. Smells like uh, cigarette cartons. Help, help you live in all through this album. That's that's the uh, main theme of this album, pal. And here's the red one. And there's the disc for that. So that's all my records for the week, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hey, just you just, uh, just before you shoot off there, Will. Um, yeah. We've got some, we've got some people, um, people asking about uh, whether you could recommend any um, record players for them to give these a spin oh. on. That's a good question. I myself have two Audio Technica AT LP 120s. I think they're great record players. They probably need to be with USB if you want to transfer it straight to your computer, but they sound great. They've got a lot of awesome features. They've got like the tempo slider adjust, so you can slow down or speed up the platter itself, which is cool for if you want to do DJing and whatnot. Yeah. But um, a lot of places have really great record players. A big part of it is going to be getting a good stylus and needle itself. So making sure that you've got a good quality one of those is going to affect the sound quite a bit. And then just, yeah, ensuring that you've got something that's high quality so it's not going to get bumped and like the starts to fly across your records. You really want to be able to change that weight on the arm um, just so you can get it right and balanced and yeah, get yourself a really nice sound. I would recommend for anyone like starting out, the Project Essential is a really good line. That's expensive, isn't it? They're like uh, 500 bucks each. Really good line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Uh, we have one of those downstairs at my house and they sound amazing. Yeah. And they look really clean and sleek. Um, but yeah, I do recommend those as well. But if you're in more of a budget range, um, Audio Technica do make some good cheap ones. Yep. Um, really, really good lines. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very Thank much, Will. Uh, where were we? We were talking about Funko, weren't we? Funko, yes. We'll catch um, Will next week, also with some more vinyl choice, vinyl picks, and, uh, and, yeah, boy, Funko. I think we just finished Spider-Man. We did finish Spider-Man, so we're up to Wonder Woman, and, uh, here, here are some of, um, Wonder Woman, uh, in a, in a new series that's been released, uh, we've got a few different, um, I think this is the anniversary series, um, we've got, uh, Wonder Woman Odyssey, Wonder Woman A Twist of Fate, Wonder Woman White Lantern, Wonder Woman White Land in a in a glow? Yep. And uh, from uh, DC Future State we have uh, Yara Floor, which is part of DC's Pops with Purpose. And Fuck Co have made a donation to something here. Uh, anyway, uh, Pops Purpose, their Funko charity line where they make donations to organisations and then pump out some, some sick product for awareness. So definitely check out the uh, Pops with Purpose sticker on those because that's really good. Also got some new uh, varied releases from uh, The Simpsons. That is That episode of The Simpsons is my favourite ever TV show crossover. Two of the best TV shows, X-Files and The Simpsons. Oh. And it's just got this mystery to it. It leaves you guessing from start to finish. It has the people from the X-Files in it. And also, this pop comes with a chase. It does. It and does. So, it glows. Either way, it glows. But uh, the chase glow is... It's fully, like green. It's fully, like, translucent glow. Yeah. I didn't um, realise you've become such a huge X-Files fan. Yeah, love it. Love the mystery. You only just started watching that recently, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Luke recommended it to me. He said, if you like mysteries and learning about the unknown... Check out the X Files, so I did. You did? But I'd seen that, that Simpsons episode first. That episode used to 
freaked me out when I was a kid. It was just yeah. the X-Files music, but I don't know what it was about it. I remember being in like grade three or whatever and just being like, what is with this? I bring you love. Yeah. <laughs> I bring you love. No, it wasn't weird. Quick, like, get it. It's bringing us love. <laughs> Uh, from Demon Slayer, we have a character, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, from Dragon Ball Z, we've got Super Saiyan Goku with Kamehameha Diamond Glitter. So, that's got some treatment, special treatment. That's pretty cool. Uh, if you're a fan of Alvara, I can celebrate 40 year anniversary and grab, I think, another Diamond Glitter. Is that a Diamond Glitter, Josh? It's a Diamond Glitter, Andy. A Diamond Glitter Alvara. And uh, if you like Disney and the art series from Funko, uh, you can grab Pluto. With an all over design that is a footprints. So, so any of are. these any of these special edition ones, any of these that have the special edition stickers at the moment, unfortunately we can't ship them to the US or Canada, but we can still ship them inside Australia. Yeah, and yeah. New Zealand. The, rest the, the rest of the world. Rest of the world. Just sorry anybody in the US and Canada, we'd love to, but we can't. But we check just... back because that, that that status that changes sometimes. Changes. Changes. You, you changes. never know when, but it might. Um Bianca. You don't want to talk about this ten inch spider man club, aren't you? Well, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty excited about this one. Um, so this is from the upcoming Home as well. Um, so it features Spidey in his brand new black and gold suit. Super fancy. It's got a lot of um, really sick detailing on it that you can appreciate a bit more with such a big top. Um, so definitely worth grabbing that one. And while we're talking about 10 inch pops, we've also got um, a big... Gizmo with 3D glasses that we'll be giving away. Here we are! On, which and is really, really exciting. And all you need to do is leave a comment on the feed to go in the running. Uh, Luke's picking names at random for people who are leaving comments on this feed to put on a prize wheel. At the end of the episode, that wheel is going to be spun. What movie was that? <clears throat> I think Gremlins. I think it was very meta. Was it was in Gremlins it? 2? I don't know. I think Gremlins 2, they're watching Gremlins 1. Yeah. I think. Yeah. That was 3D. I can't remember. It's a shame they don't still do 3D movies. No, it's not. They're yeah, it's garbage. I liked them. It was, there was more going on, more to, to look at. 2009 to 2014 were the worst years of cinema in history because they tried to bring 3D back. Yeah, I stand by that. No. You want to watch, watch 3D 60 frames per second in The Hobbit? Just no. as a tech No, I don't want to watch The Hobbit. I watched a good one and it was like about like natural disasters. It was called, and it had Gerard Butler in it, I can't remember what it's called, but it was basically about like earthquakes and tsunamis and stuff. Oh, I know that 3D. One. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. And then driving through an earthquake? Yeah. 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 I, I that feel was like good. they totally gear and, and skew an entire movie around using the 3D. They, they yeah. set it out to build it, like to make yeah. the movie, and they go, hey, we're going to use 3D. I feel like they compromise a lot. Yeah, but that's like jackass though. They build it around <laughs> the stunts. So that's. It, it's still good. It, it wasn't. Because was. you, you watch it not 3D and you're like, oh, they threw a cupcake at the screen. I wonder what that was going to look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was going to jump out of the way. Uh, anyway, 3D. I like, I like old style 3D where it's red and blue. I like new 3D. <laughs> I don't like you. Uh, Boo Holler, this is a new line from Funko, uh, it's part of their Paka Paka line, previously Paka Paka were more little, uh, blind, boxed, little, um, gift size vinyl figures that have now kind of stretched this collection into more of a pop vinyl size, um, but, uh, we've got Zeke, we've got Raven, uh, we've got Nina and Lucky, which are a deluxe set, uh, we've got Gabe and Bone Buggy, uh, which is a little ride there, and we've got Phineas and Scratch. Uh, and boy, they're having a good time with some little ghost friends there. Uh, so Paka Paka, it's an original IP from Funko. It's spooky, and it's a spooky season, so why not? Just, just, why not? Just get them. Come just on make it, just make it Halloween all year round. Come on down to Boo Hollow. <laughs> At Popco. <laughs> um, some more deluxe box that have come in. We have Rax from Toy Story, and this is from Toy Story 2, and he's playing video games. And, uh, yep, and from uh, Harry Potter we have Gringotts Head Goblin uh, with the Gringotts Gringotts Bank, um, which uh, is just the worst, ugliest character in the whole Harry Potter franchise. Well, you know, some people might be in. Like, don't judge him. Nobody likes him. <laughs> uh, and then Dungeons and Dragons we have uh, the Mimic 
uh, which does come with a D20 die. Um, Mini moments. This is a new line from Funko. He like shows and they did Seinfeld, right? They did Those Seinfeld. The first release of Seinfeld. Uh, we now have the office. So this is essentially little diorama pieces that you put together to create a diorama of a set from a you know your favorite movies and TV shows. This is the office from the office. Uh, and we've got Dwight, we've got Pam, we've got Michael Scott, we've got Jim Halpert, we've got Daryl Philbin. Uh, Daryl comes with the entranceway. Uh, Jim comes with Jim's desk. Michael Scott comes with Michael's office, Pam comes with her uh, reception area, and Dwight comes with his uh, desk there as well, so you can put them all together. Yeah, you really gotta get the full set. <clears throat> you do. You're really gonna get the full you're set really if you're going for this. You're gonna get it. And if you're into Harry Potter, we have some Harry Potter ones. Um, now the Harry Potter ones are interesting because there is a unique chase piece in each one, which isn't... On the Seinfeld, Seinfeld range there was chase pieces, but they were just different versions of the same character. In the Harry Potter ones, the chase pieces are different characters entirely. Uh, so it's the potions class from, um, I think it was from uh, the book, the, the, what's the movie? Which movie was it? Well, Everyone knows. I've seen all the movies yet, I can't recall at this very moment. Half-Blood Prince. No, it's, it's finished half -blood throughout Prince. the films. I think it's Half-Blood Prince. I do, I hope. No, it's not when you hope not. Uh, yeah, so, all right, so this chase piece comes with Tom Riddle. The, the, I think it might be Harry as the standard, um, but if you get the chase, you get Tom Riddle, which is cool. Uh, we've also got um, Snape and Ron Weasley, and they, they all just, yeah, have different um, sets from the, the potion class, which is pretty cool. I think that's it for Funko. No, we've got sodas. Josh? We've got sodas. Um, so, vinyl sodas are Funko products as well. I like them. I like them a lot. I like the design of them. This week, we've got Maleficent, we've got Dwight Schrute, also from The Office, Peter Venkman from Ghostbusters, Beast Boy, who Annie knocked over before, um, and we have Vampire Mickey, we also have Sully. This one's my favourite, because it's super heavy. Um, but, <laughs> all of these also come with chases, right, Andy? Uh, yeah, there's the, there's the, I don't know if you got a chase on any of these. No, I don't get a chase on any of these, but... That's the whole thing with every soda though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they so they got a chase, chase included, uh, and they all come with little discs that tell you uh, the edition of it. So there's a total edition of 12,500 on this Vampire Mickey, but uh, the actual um, number of the standard would be less because I think one in six might be the actual um, chase ratio. ratio so, so. Yeah, Maleficent was 12,500, and one of 10,500. So there's 2,000 chase pieces out there. 2,000 for you to find. Look at that. It's a lot of chase pieces. Anyway, vinyl, uh, soda figures from Funko are um, definitely my favorite thing to put in at the moment. Uh, unique looking characters, really good interpretations of, um, of the likenesses and things like that. So yeah, really, really great. Um, all limited editions. So there are one, one, once they're done, they're done. One and done. One and done. One and there done. There are one and one done. Uh, one and done. Now that's all we've got from Funko. Uh, we've got some new releases from Hasbro that we'll look at. From the upcoming film, uh, Eternals, which is Marvel Studios' film, uh, we have some new Marvel Legends series uh, with... Who would thunk, thunk it? It's the Eternals. Uh, we've got Makari, uh, we've got Kingo, we've got Druig. Uh, what is this movie about? We've got Icarus. Uh, it's about these uh, godlike beings called the Eternals. And they didn't, haven't done anything in the Marvel movies until now. But they're now going to be introduced, and somehow just going to exist. Isn't this isn't this one Bucky Barnes? No, that's not. It's a guy who looks like Bucky Barnes. It's a guy from Game of Thrones. All right, <laughs> just checking. Um, but they got great likenesses of the actors, um, which is really great. Uh, and uh, we've got Cersei and uh, Bastos as well. And uh, these are all part of a builder figure line. They build. Uh, Gilgamesh. So you get all, all the pieces from these together, and What's you can. Gilgamesh? Gilgamesh is another guy, another Eternal. What, why have these Eternals not done anything until now? That's what I mean. That's the whole point we'll of the movie. Josh. movie. That's Lazy. what gods tend to do, though, right? Lazy. Yeah, they're like, I'm just gonna watch. But they're, they're like on Earth as well, so. They're on Earth. The whole Thanos thing, they could have done something, right? Yeah, lazy. They're just waiting for him to clean things up a bit. Because they couldn't be bothered dealing with it. They couldn't be. Uh, they were just waiting. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man, uh, 20 million. Um, you can grab this one 
uh, it's part of the retro line, which is on um, card backing, which is really cool. Spider Man 2099. You can change his hands. He's got lots of them. Uh, is and it on the case, though? yeah, it's a web. Got a web cape in there as well. Oh yes. Let's see on the side there. Web cape. Uh, so yeah, really, really cool figure. Um, part of their retro collection. <clears throat> Josh. We got Dragon Ball Super, the complete series on Blu-ray. That's a uh, three thousand minutes of uh, viewing. <laughs> like that for three thousand minutes. Nobody saw that. Can you point it to him and he does it again? I don't know. He did. He did a something. What do you mean? Uh, this comes with the Dragon Ball Super Complete Series Episodes 1 to 131, a special collector's booklet, a sticker sheet, five art cards, and a poster, which you can see a little bit on the back there. But if you've got nothing planned for your weekend, I suggest this is the way that you do it. Of course, we won't be able to deliver it to you before the weekend, but maybe next weekend we will. <laughs> Come on, I'll put it. You can do it. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, new release today from Pokemon Trading Card Game. Celebrations! Uh, celebrating 25 years of Pokemon. This is a long awaited uh, release because it pays homage to the original uh, Pokemon cards and uh, all the different things that have happened in Pokemon Trading Card Game over the last 25 years. But they've got a huge amount of new cards that are stylized um, after the original run. Um, so you got some packs in there, which I think there's four cards in each of these celebrations packs, um, which are the, the anniversary edition ones. And then they come with um, some additional uh, packs from recent releases like Vivid Voltage and things like that. So we've got uh, Dragapult Prime, we've got um, uh, the, the guy from X and Y, you know, it doesn't even say anything. But uh, it's a deluxe pin collection, it's got a little Pikachu pin in there. Uh, and we've got the Elite Trainer Box. Now this is what you want. So this comes with 10 packs of the uh, Celebrations um, booster packs. Uh, we also have five additional pack, uh, booster packs from recent trading card game releases. You have a uh, foil uh, special uh, Greninja um, uh, uh, shiny. I'm just going to shoot it off. <laughs> and then everything you need to play got, the game. It's got 65 card sleeves featuring the Pokemon, 25 logo and lightning tail design, 45 Pokemon trading card game energy cards, the player's guide to the celebrations expansions, the Pokemon trading card game rule book, throw that away, um, six counter <laughs> dice, one competition legal coin flip die, two acrylic condition markers, a collector's box to hold everything with four dividers to keep it organized, and a code for the Pokemon trading card game online. Oh, wow, you really know a lot about that. Part. I do oh. not. I've been studying. <laughs> so, it's been long enough for the release of celebrations. Get it quick though. These are really, these are selling really fast. Uh, I wouldn't expect them to last the weekend, so jump online uh, this yeah. weekend and, and pick one up. Um, check out and check out the full convention stuff that we're dropping. Yeah, well. it's nine midnight. We're dropping. Yeah, it's nine midnight. We're dropping full convention exclusives. People who haven't been watching the whole episode, uh, we're going to talk about it again tonight at midnight. Uh, we're going to bring the website down at ten p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Two hours following that, midnight. Saturday morning, back up. we're putting it back up and you'll find a whole bunch of 2021 full convention exclusives from Funko uh, available to pre-order. Now, there is some stock delays, obviously. Shipping worldwide is a nightmare at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nightmare. It's, it's a, a nightmare. nightmare. Let's not get into that. So there's some delays, so we're going to have to pre-order. We do yep. expect to have a lot of stock next week, so uh, we should be shipping it out pretty much on schedule as if we had dropped it live. Yeah, um, yeah, pretty much. We'll. we'll Drop it tonight, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be here on Monday yep. to ship as just a regular new order would. Fingers but crossed. Lay off the red wine, lay off the gluten-free pizzas, stay up tonight. You're going to be wanting, you're going to be wanting coffee, you're going to eat, want to eat an apple or something. Keep yourself up and energised because, as is the case with these conventions, stock doesn't last long. It doesn't last long. It doesn't and last long. if you happen to place a, a, an order of a 2021 Fall Convention exclusive, while stock's last of these little bad guys, yeah. we're going to be giving away this, uh, this Hockey Mask Bigfoot enamel pin. Jeez, that is really good and cool. Yep, it really is good and cool, folks. Uh, so, if you want one, just, uh, hey, just, uh, just place your order. Just place the 2021 Fall yeah, Convention yeah. exclusive. Forget about your gluten-free pizza, forget about your red wine. <laughs> just, just stay up late. I'll be sitting up late, making sure that products are on the website. 
You will. Yeah. So will I. I'll be really. <laughs> um, that's tonight. Right now, though, we've got some more stuff to talk about. Luke, skateboards. That's your, your yeah, yeah, yeah. I like skateboards. Luke was a skater. Um, he said, <clears throat> "See you later, boy." Yeah. <laughs> so what we've got here, primitive, um, three decks. Primitive makes some great skateboard skateboard decks. Um, now these are featuring. Um, I don't actually know a whole lot about Dragon Ball, but um, oh, they've oh. got Dragon Ball on them. <laughs> um, you got old, you got uh, uh, pink Rose. hair here, Rose. Uh, you got blue versus pink here, and uh, pink hair again over here. Um, pink hair, black suit, potentially Goku. Yeah, maybe. We'll find out. Um, I still don't understand. Now, now primitive decks, um, especially these lines and all the ones that we have on our website, are. They're more geared towards being a uh, collectible and display piece. Um, great for hanging on your wall. Uh, awesome details and uh, really cool treatments um, on the decks overall. Um, however, they are built to also be ridden if you choose so. So if you are into skating um, and you want to ride these, you 100% can. Um, they vary. Uh, each deck has a different uh, width um, described on them. You know. People like different widths of decks, uh, each to their own. Some suit others better. Um, and foot size does come into it. Um, so they are related. So the deck size and foot size definitely is a thing when it comes to skateboarding. Um, and uh, you can just, you can find it online. You spot the one you want. You can just check the size and you'll know what's right for you. Um, but yeah, again, primitive skateboards, they kill it. Um, these are made of uh, seven ply Canadian maple, um, really good quality stuff, and uh, you can get these for one thirty nine ninety nine. Look at that first got, price of the day. Guys, guys, suddenly knows the prices. <laughs> hey, uh, we've got a couple more things to talk about. Do you like puzzles? I like happens? puzzles. Uh, we've got this one, it's uh, James Bond, new film coming out, obviously no time can't, to die. Can't wait for that. Yep, uh, and uh, this is uh, a uh, puzzle, which combines all 25 That's Russian. posters from all 25 films. Um, so, boy, that's going to be fun to put together. You pick, pick up a piece and you're like, oh, uh, is this from Goldeneye, or is this not? I don't even know if this is going to be in English. Yeah, it is. It's just got the one that's not in English. No, because Goldeneye or... That says No Time to Die, die The Spy Who Loved Me, The Man With The Golden Gun. Yeah, there's also... That looks like Korean. Yeah, obviously international posters. Yeah. Uh, so, all over the world. All, all over the world. Everybody and loves James Bond. They do. Uh, and if uh, posters aren't your jam, but you like Monopoly, well, um, we've got Elf Monopoly. And... That's a good movie. It is a good movie. It comes with tokens. Uh... uh We've got Santa's bag, polar bear cup, mailroom coffee mug, Jack in a box, Santa sleigh, and maple syrup. Uh, and these are not shown at actual size, apparently. So, you know, do you prefer Elf, Elf or Charlie Brown Christmas? Charlie Brown's Christmas. <laughs> and Charlie Brown Christmas? Yep. I like Charlie Brown Christmas. I like Elf. I love that you call it Charlie's Brown. Brown. Like, he, he has some brown. <laughs> <laughs> A really muddy Christmas. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what else? We've got one more thing to talk about and then we're going to give away some prizes. Uh, dual nets. You need one, right? Lockdown's going to be any soon. People are going to be coming around your house. And you're going to need a show on um, a good time. Uh, so we've got Life and Storm Act. We've got Star Wars Mandalorian. The child lives here. Uh, from Harry Potter. Harry Potter. That's the name of that film. Uh, Muggles are welcome. That's a nice one. Uh, might like the Ravenclaw crest. Oh. Sorry, Andy, can you just... If you're way cooler, you might like the Hufflepuff crest. Can you just make sure you're lifting these using your knees, not your back? I because... am going to. Uh, Krusty Burger, welcome to Krusty Burger. Um, get some steam hands there, I'm going out. Um, Wonder Woman lives here. Uh, now she does, because uh, you, you can afford that. Um, it's good that you put these in the middle of the room where we're about to do the prize. <laughs> uh, uh, fans of Scooby-Doo, uh, the thing to Scooby-Doo would be to pick up this Boy of the Dog one. Uh, it's a good warning, and, um, yeah. And that's a great dog. He was such he was a well-trained dog. dog, yeah. So, uh, and, uh, if you like Back 
in the future, you might like back to the front door because um, we've got the out of time license plate as a doormat. Um, and uh, you'll be going back to the future uh, in, in no time if you have that. I don't know, the time travel. You, you seem tired. Get some doormats. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, you're actually right, Josh. Yeah, <laughs> terrible idea. No, that's all right. They've got to go somewhere. We've got a portable wheel. It's okay. No, but look at this. <laughs> Don't look at me. But the wheel's right here. Yeah, that's what we've got a front and center. All right. Uh, first thing we give away is uh, the Gremlins uh, backpack. Yeah, that, that's a prize. Uh, I'm not going to take this away from you, Luke. Yes, I have something to do to them. <laughs> All right, so we're going to spin the wind, Gremlins backpack, here we go. Who's going to win? Let's find out. Uh, Kim Lewis. Lewis. Uh, congratulations, uh, you have won the uh, Santa God Gizmo backpack. All you need to do is leave us a private message on Facebook with your name, postable information, and email address, and we'll get that shipped out to you ASAP. I think I speak for everybody in the comments when I say, Bianca, can you please do the next one? Because you could just tell Luke then that you put no effort into that spin. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, what, are you, what are you talking about? I'm, keep, I'm keeping Luke in a job. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Yeah, let, let's do it again. Just, yeah, yeah, let's, 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 you want some effort? Yeah, just, just what, what are we giving away first? Uh, we're going to give away the Gizmo 10 inch, 10 inch, 10, 10 inch, 10 inch pop with 3D glasses. I don't know if the glasses work. All right, a little, bit of, little bit of effort this time, Luke, thanks. Whoa! That's better. Now that's cash money. Alright, he's gonna beat. And. Uh, Cat gets to me. Congratulations, all you need to do is leave us a private message on Facebook with your name, postal information, email address, and we'll get your gizmo sent out to you uh, first thing next week. Uh, last but not least, we have the gizmo uh, uh, lounge fly wallet. Uh, we're gonna spin, and this is, someone's gonna win that. Hope you guys all like Star Wars. This is a... <laughs> Laura Lund! Congratulations! Uh, get a private message on Facebook, name, postal information, email address. We'll get us in out to you. We will. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Don't forget, midnight tonight, we've got uh, freaking. 2021 Fall Convention exclusive drop. Freaking check it out. Get on uh, it. It's a freaking Friday night. So what? What else? Just freaking do it, man. <laughs> you might. You might get a freaking tin. Uh, no, you will. You will get a tin. Yeah. Wall Street Clock. And it'll be. And it'll be on the invoice on the side of your box. As yes. Well. If you get a tin, it'll be the invoice in, invoice enclosed uh, envelope that is on the outside of the packaging. Yeah. A lot of people we feel threw it out. Summer convention. Yeah. Because they need numbers yeah. in there. Because we don't put which it is, in the box. Which is fair. Yeah, we, but we don't want to put it in the box because we don't want to damage anything. Yeah. So that's why we put it on the invoice and close. It's got pointy sharp bits on it. It's got pointy sharp bits. It's got pointy sharp bits. So watch your fingers. Ow. Yeah, watch your fingers. Ow. Ow. We don't want that happening in the box. Uh, so that's what we're putting on the outside. Anyway, yeah. that's midnight tonight. Get ready for it. Jump in the queue before midnight to get a random spot. If you get in at midnight or after midnight, you're at the end of the line. Uh, so, yeah. coming a bit early, yeah. but not all the way early. Yeah, just like 11.55. Yeah. If you're there at 10, do something else in the next two hours, because you're not, you're not Still going to be randomized. randomized. Yeah, randomized when it keeps over midnight. So, yeah. anyway, uh, that's tonight. We'll be back next week. I'll hopefully show some of the releases from the fall convention. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, uh, in the meantime, stay safe, have a good weekend, and we'll catch you on the flip. <laughs>